Okay, so I'm so excited and um, happy about all of my bounty uh, manifested by the Lord that I want to show you how to make lumpia. And um, this is what I've got to work with. <laughs> A little bit of green onion, um, some carrot, an onion, um, ground beef, 73% lean, 27% fat. And the reason why I choose this is because it tastes so much better. <laughs> um, so I'm going to get started on this and show you how um, I make lumpia with wrappers requiring no egg. And um, so these are just the ingredients I wanted to show you. And we'll get started. I use these green onions for rice I made the other the other night but I'm going to stick what I have left in with the beef when I'm frying it so um trying to get as much as I can out of these onions here Lord, <laughs> I need need you to manifest fresh veg in the refrigerator. Um, ASAP. <laughs> so, I've just got this little bit of green onion here. And I'm just going to try to Cut it as small as I can in order to add it to my beef once it's fried. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> okay, now we're getting to the Crunch your part. You know my one of my grandmothers. Um, every Christmas, she would make lumpia, and it's so good, so wonderful. And just because I don't have a lot of green onion, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some um, white onion to add to the meat um, okay don't need that much so just get this going here we go that should be enough Okay, and with my um, carrot here, I am going to grate these. Okay, so it will cook faster. As soon as the beef is done, then I'm going to throw in the grated carrot. You know, when I was younger, I never liked carrots. Oh my gosh. And I used to get in trouble <laughs> if I wouldn't eat them. Um, the doctor had told my mom that I would lose my eyesight and be blind. And um, because he said that, I was forced to eat carrots because my, my dad thought that, you know, carrots are good for the eyes, so... And of course, you know, when the doctor said that, I jumped down from the chair and I walked over and I said, Jesus won't let that happen. And of course, my mother said, just go, go outside. 
and I, I still needed an eye surgery and I still needed to um, do everything prepare for such a day that never came hallelujah okay so I'm done here with the carrots and um let's see any in there okay so this will be in my lumpia and um oh my gosh it's <laughs> I'm excited about this okay I'm gonna get the ground beef going and I will be right back. Okay, I'm putting my cumin in with the ground beef. Let me get some sea salt. Um, maybe a little more black pepper. Okay. And I'm going to use some of my minced garlic. Probably about a teaspoon. Maybe two. Maybe two. It's about a teaspoon, I think. Okay. So I'm going to get this all um, wound up. Now, I don't know why, but, oh gosh, it smells so good already. The fattier meat always tastes better. Okay, I am, you can see my beef is frying away. Look at all that yummy fat. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get in most of my white onion here. Get it in there cooking in the bigger parts of the green. Hold on. You know, I love onion, but not everybody does. I'm going to save the rest for when it's, you know, browned a little more. I'm going to add some soy sauce. I think my, my little um, chihuahua is barking because he hears this and smells it. And, <laughs> and he's going to get... Olympia too because he's a decree. You know, the Lord says, Thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. And um when I wanted a little dog and I was undecided as to whether I wanted a Chihuahua or a um York a Yorkie. So I just asked the Lord, you know, Father, please let me get um, a Yorkie, <laughs> half Chihuahua and half Yorkie, and um, I was prepared at that time to, you know, pay six hundred dollars up to a thousand, and an hour after asking the Lord, I received a text from a man who was selling your cheese for $20. And I thought, oh, this is just too good to be true. But, you know, I asked the Lord and I have trust the Lord. And I prayed about it. And an hour later, um, my little sidekick was sitting on my lap. So, <laughs> praise the Lord. So, I call him Tuco Decree. <laughs> Um, Tuco, because my favorite Western film is The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and the character in there, Tuco, um, what I decided to call my little Yorkie. And Decree, because he's a decree given to me by the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Now I am adding the carrots. And the green onion. Okay. And I'm just going to stir that around for a little bit. And uh, then I am going to work on the wrappers. i show you how to make wrappers without um, eggs. 
Okay, now to make the wrappers. This new container, you guys. <laughs> so exciting. And look, they come with measuring cups. This was from um, Amazon. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we'll get two cups. This is unbleached flour. Here we go. Now this is airtight. Awesome, right? Okay. Now I'm going to add some about a teaspoon of sea salt to it and drizzle maybe about two teaspoons of olive oil and I've got my my oil heating up right now so I'm just going to kind of stir that around so it's just two cups unbleached flour can be any kind of flour, but I'm just using the unbleached. I really prefer it. See how it's kind of like a crumbled now? Two teaspoons of oil, olive oil, or any kind of oil, um, and a teaspoon of salt. That's all you need for this. Okay, now I'm going to add some hot water. Well, this isn't really hot, it kind of cooled off, but it's like warm. Okay, just a little bit to start with. Get our dough going. Okay, here we go. And you just, you get a feel for it, you know. Just keep turning it. There's a little bit more. Like, I imagine myself, you know, with a rag or something, <laughs> cleaning the bowl. Clean that bowl. Clean that bowl. Okay. Nice and soft. Oh my gosh, it's real soft. Okay. I've got more, so I'm going to add some more. So that was only, gosh, like almost a cup of water. Now if it gets too gooey you can always add a little pow to it. What I call pow which just means add a little bit more flour. Okay, so it's a, a little bit gooey. So I'm just going to get a handful here of flour add it in. Okay. Move it around. Clean that bowl. Clean that bowl with the big <laughs> with the big ball. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm telling you, I've been in such a giddy mood all day. Because Jesus has been so good to me. And, you know, I was starting to get, like, kind of like a headache earlier. And I did, I said what I usually say whenever I feel something like that. And... You know how the enemy tries to put thoughts in your head. Oh, you're sick, you're this or that. And I just, I said, um, I shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. And then I thought, you know what? I am going to share what happened, this wonderful manifestation miracle today. Okay, look at this. Here we go. Nice, right? Okay, so I'm just going to tear off some little balls and 
grill these out. That might be a little... You can make them as big or small as you want. Look, it's not sticking to my hand. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I am rolling out one of these little balls that I made. Okay, see now it's going to be very thin and that's how you want it. So roll it out. I've got my filling here and I'm just going to get some, put it right there in the middle. Okay. <clears throat> now remember, this is just two cups of flour. So you can press it down like that. Pick up the other side. Press it down. And you can roll this over like that. And roll it like that. So we've got one right here. Roll another one. <clears throat> so like I said, it's two cups of flour. A um, little bit of salt. Two drizzles of oil. Maybe two teaspoons. Okay, sticking a little bit. That's okay. I'm going to roll these out. Look, they're real stretchy. There we go. And about a cup of water. Okay, just stretch it out like that. They're not at all sticky. You can even press it down just to hold its form. While well, you're getting your filling on. So, one about a cup of water, a little bit of salt, two cups of flour, and there you go. You've got your wrapper. You just press it down, it seals. Now you can do it this way. Seal it. Seal the end and continue just to roll it over like that and there okay I've got my oil going okay I'm going to start one now my oils a little <laughs> as you can see used because I was making my um, Navajo bread earlier I just drop them in there like that and they start browning real nice and you just turn them. And it's okay if one busts open like that. Still going to cook and brown real easy. You just keep turning it. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. You know, I will be back um, in a little bit just just until they're brown like that and take them out and set them down and these are going to be nice and crispy and I will be back with more okay I've got the last one here adding it to my pile and I ran out of filling, so I've got one more wrapper, and I'm just going to make a wonton out of it. <laughs> yeah. So, like, if you wanted to double this recipe, you could make more lumpias or um, wontons. You could make wontons, too. Look at that, just crisping up. Nice and crispy. Yes. It only takes like a few seconds or minutes. However crispy you like them. There we go. So, some lucky person is going to get a wonton <laughs> with all the lumpia. Now, 
this also you you know you can make if you don't want to stick beef in them you can do veg or anything that you like that would make it more like a spring roll um, some of mine are a little fat and traditionally um, they're real thin but so I'm gonna break one open for you Ooh, awesome and you know these are just so nutritious and so good praise Jesus well I hope you enjoyed my lumpia <laughs> and um, God bless you until the next video